Welcome to Payment Systems. This course features 29 lesson videos divided into seven chapters. Designed for 2Ls and 3Ls, this course explores the mechanisms by which actors in commercial transactions make non-cash payments, as governed by Articles 3 and 4 of the Uniform Commercial Code, or UCC. Chapter 1 introduces the law of negotiable instruments and explains key concepts referenced throughout Articles 3 and 4. First, we'll learn about the role of negotiable instruments in commerce and the scope of Articles 3 and 4. Then we'll discuss the requirements for negotiability. Chapter 2 focuses on defining key terms and phrases used in Article 3. We'll introduce the parties to a negotiable instrument, learn the definitions of several key terms, and learn how one becomes an instrument's holder. Finally, we'll learn about the requirements for a valid negotiation and endorsement. In Chapter 3, we'll learn how one obtains the coveted holder in due course status and how difficult it is to prevail in litigation against a holder in due course. We'll also learn about the close connectedness doctrine and shelter rule. Then we'll conclude with a discussion about personal and real defenses. Chapter 4 explores liability on negotiable instruments. The chapter begins with an overview of the party's obligations. Then we'll learn about the impact of taking a negotiable instrument for an obligation. Next, we'll discuss the special rules that apply if a party tenders a negotiable instrument in full satisfaction of a claim. Then we'll cover the rules governing the enforcement of a lost, stolen, or destroyed instrument. And finally, we'll learn about warranty liability. Chapter 5 covers dishonor of an instrument, payment of an instrument, and discharge of liability on an instrument. Chapter 6 unpacks how fraud and other misconduct affect the rights and duties of parties to a negotiable instrument. Specifically, we'll delve into the rules surrounding unauthorized signatures and alterations including the negligence rule, the imposter rule, and the rules governing fictitious or unintended payees. Then we'll cover the rules concerning an Article III claim for conversion. Our seventh and final chapter provides an overview of Article IV and the law dealing with bank deposits and collections. First, we'll consider the scope of Article IV and define several key terms. Then we'll look at each of the substantive parts of Article IV, including Part II, dealing with depository and collecting banks, Part 3, addressing payer banks, and Part 4, covering the relationship between a payer bank and its customers. If you watch all the lesson videos in this course, you'll gain a deeper understanding of negotiable instruments, payment systems, and Articles 3 and 4 of the UCC. Let's get started.